bowl. Did you hear that? There's a tree knock over here. Jason, I know we've been through here a few times now. This is mm. the third third visit to the site, you and I. Mm. But like something just cleared. The geographical area. Yeah. It's like it's been cleared. Look at all the branches. Mm. Uh, it looks like it's been rearranged. It's like something's gone through here and just Yeah, just cleared it and wiped it all yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah right. viewers, I was just saying to Jason that um Doesn't make sense. The way we walk down we come off a bit of an embank line, a huge embankment like a literally slide down there with rocks and all sorts and um, just saying to him how everything has been moved and the way the branches are it's been cleared it's it's different than last time it's like it's been changed rearranged a bit it was a big storm that went through here i can understand it but it hasn't been any storms through here no. since we was here last week no um but it looks like a bit of a storm's gone through like they've had fun they've just gone through and yeah, wiped everything wiped out. Wiped everything down and pulled branches down, dead branches, and cleared it. Is that what the apples do? Look all over here. Yeah, it's like it's just been cleared, eh? It's it's weird, mate. I'm sure there was more. I'm sure there was higher plants here. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm these little plants here. These are little. These ones are growing still, but the big ones. I'm sure that they've cleared it. Hmm. This doesn't make sense, man. Because we were brushing ourselves against those vines in there. Here, from that, from that tree where it snapped, and I put the apple that time over there. This is quite thick through here. Yeah. Look, there's an impression over here. Let's have a look. Yeah, there's an impression. Yeah, there's an impression here, Jason. Yeah. Which way do you reckon? I think this way. The heel is here, and there it's the left foot again. That way. Going towards you there. Anyway. Yeah, no, something's definitely gone through here. It's not just the wind is just blowing this. You need a bit of a small storm to come through here. I mean, just show the viewers up close what I'm talking about. Um, over here, here. It's just been white. Whoosh. All this dead leaves hmm. fall from the trees. I know that, but it's like they've cleared it themselves. But yet, the location we're at is human beings wouldn't be walking through here like we do. Like, literally, no one would probably come here. We're the only ones that probably come in here and, I don't know, ever. Mm. Um, but, uh, yeah, interesting, guys, but we're going to... Completely different than it was last time we went here and the time before. Yeah. Confused as to our location, isn't it? No, man, it's up this way, trust me. Yeah, I know, but it's confused... They've changed it around. Yeah. Here's another impression here. Right here. Check this one out. See this viewers? Check that out. The right foot, toes, comes around and around. Yeah. yeah. What happens is it's left the impression both sides. But what the Yowies we found are capable of doing is when you've got uh, when you've got something like this on the ground view, especially a large branch, they can actually mould their feet over it. But still keep the feet, toes on the ground, heel on the ground. But they got like a, a special heel, like a bottom of the feet, a padding. That's why when you look at the bottom of the feet in any, um, even the Bigfoots and Sasquatches around the world, uh, they've always got a different colour padding. It's like a creamy sort of colour, a beigey colour compared to the rest of their body. So even if they've got dark skin, black or they're brown, um, there's always like a, a tanny colour on the bottom of their feet and they push down. Where's all the apples going? Yeah, man, chewed up, man. Whoa. Help, mate, stick there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check the footing. There is some sort of questions here, man. 
like a little animal's been here. And check that out viewers, look at that. The apples are absolutely gone. That is awesome, so what, whatever took the apples, that is awesome. Geez, they, um, that's strange, the first set of apples didn't rot that bad, did it? No. But also, there, some apples that was left behind, parts of it rotted mm. because of the fruit fly too. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it's amazing. That is awesome. There's toe prints here. It's not a problem, you know, you don't see the whole impression, but I'm sure there's, there's toes here. Something here too. Just around this way, viewers, there's something there too. Something's been here. Something's interesting. Right, there's my cam here. There's Jason's over there. Right, we'll get our cams. I'm happy about that, but... Yeah, no, that's interesting. Uh, very good. Something's definitely been here. Oh, yeah. That is brilliant. All right, your turn. All right, so we'll go over here. A bit today. It is a bit warm, eh? Mosquitoes. Yeah, we might have to spray ourselves one more time, I think. Brilliant. Oh, there you go, viewers. Another day in the job. Three cams again. That is awesome. So, um, this time we're staying. We usually go different locations quite regularly because we like to try different places out, see what we get. But um, we decided to study this area for a while. It's, it's yeah. very interesting here. Hi right, viewers, we brought some more apples back. But what we're doing today is we're going to leave them whole. The last couple of times we've been here, Jason cut his in half, and I actually bashed mine with a rolling pin prior to leaving home and just squashed them up a little bit to get the juices out to see if we can attract them. Today, we're going to leave them whole. That way they're going to stay fresh for that little bit longer. They won't rot as quick. And the owls can enjoy these lovely apples. Why, right, Jason and I catch. They're going to enjoy one itself. So stay tuned, viewers. Apples! I'm sure I saw something like a shadow or something like that moving down here. Before when we did the apples, you could hear that. 
Mm. And again, remember the time before I was here and I said the same thing? Mm. It's growling again. Viewers, look through here. Jason's going to zoom in for you. Have a look. You decide for yourself. What do you think it is? It, it just stands so still, but... Okay. Just, this is just about how to view us. have to find another one in a minute. <laughs> Do it again. This is just about how to view us. I have to find another one in a minute. It wouldn't be a large male. Yeah. Because it's not, not as big. It's a small female. Very, very small one. Mm. And a child. They want the apples, that's why. Well, that's all right. At least they, they're being curious with us and mm. excited about the apples. Yeah, that's and right, they, eh? If they look at us like that, that's fine. Yeah. So that is awesome, viewers. We're going to move on. We're going to leave the apples here so they can come and feed on the apples. And uh, we'll head off and see what else we can get for you, eh? Stay tuned. Hey, here my. See you too. Yep. Man, God. Oh, yeah, steeper than we realise, eh? Oh, yeah, but we're stupid enough to do it. <laughs> 